Alright guys, what is going on? We're here, it's day 15. I'm at work at the moment, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I just wanted to first run through you guys my, my morning you know, routine as far as nutrition, what I'm taking to work, how I'm structuring it. So at the moment, I'll have a coffee first thing in the morning. Usually I'm eating right up until I go to bed. Um, I want to be as anabolic as possible throughout the night. I know that when you sleep, that is when you're going to grow the most. I want nutrition. I want you know nutrients running through my body as I sleep. That's how I see it anyway. Especially naturally, I'm going to want to take every single opportunity to make gains. So that's how I'm doing that. So you know, I wake up not too hungry. First thing I'll do is have a coffee, um, just as I did when I was cutting, and that will tie me over for the first couple of hours. Before I leave for work, I make a shake. At the moment, that is one banana, 100 grams of oats, two scoops of protein powder and either almond milk or water whichever i've got on hand at the time so that's you know that's given me at least 50 60 grams of protein it's giving me you know probably at least 100 grams of carbs and minimal fat so that is a perfect first meal and that's exactly what i have at around about you know an hour and a half or two hours after i wake up from there i'm taking a container of the meat that i cooked a couple of days ago you may have seen that you may not have but the way i'm moving forward as far as my protein, uh, making sure I have it on hand every single day, making sure I've got it, got it there so I can spread it out throughout the day, um, not have to rely on you know smashing a huge amount once I get home because I forget to take some to work or something like that. So what I've been doing is cooking up the protein in bulk, getting the meat, cooking it up in bulk and putting it in Tupperware containers. So at the moment I've got 500 grams worth of kangaroo mince in each container and I've also got some chicken ones with uh, 750 grams worth of chicken breast. So for example this morning I went into the fridge, I grabbed out a chicken breast uh, Tupperware container. I know I've got 180 grams of protein right there, pretty much no carbs, no fat. So that Tupperware container is my protein for the day at least, for the work day. Plus I've got the 50 grams of protein from the shake that I make first thing in the morning. So that is 230 grams of protein right there. Boom, easy, take it, taking it to work and it's gonna last me for the day. So that, that has really taken you know, a huge weight off my shoulders um, as far as making sure I have the nutrition throughout the day that I need to make gains. But as far as carbs go, that's the awesome thing. So I get to work, I've got 100 grams of carbs in the shake. I may take some sort of carbs with me, maybe some bread, rice, muffins, whatever. Today I didn't actually take any carbs with me, so I do, you know, I've got a 12 hour shift. I started at nine this morning, I finish at nine tonight. I'm gonna hit a big chest and shoulder workout after work, so I will be taking the tripod down and getting some shots for you guys to show you how I, how I train chest and shoulders, because I haven't shown you that yet. Um, so that's gonna be fun, but what that means is that, you know, I've got 12 hours to cover as far as taking in meals, making sure I get to the gym at 9.30 at night, feeling good, feeling as good as possible, full of carbohydrates, full of nutrition, so then I can go and pump out a, a fucking awesome session. The last thing I want right now, guys, is a bad session in the gym. I know it's gonna come, it hasn't come yet, because you know my nutrition's been on point. I've made sure that I have a lot of carbs and a, you know, a lot of food in my system before I go and train, which is in turn making the pumps amazing. It's making every single workout fantastic at the moment. But I do realize that eventually, you know, I'm going to have a bad workout. And to be honest, I just want to make those happen as least as possible, basically. So with that being said, guys, I've got my protein with me at work. I've had the shake. I've had my coffee. I'm probably going to have another coffee soon. But before that, I'll show you guys the carbs that I bought today. So we went to town. I bought one of my, one of my favorite carb sources, man, at the moment, and it always has been, is bagels. Now, bagels are extremely low in fat they have a good amount of protein in there which is probably why they're so dense and each bagel has 50 grams of carbs so you get four you've got 200 grams of carbs right there um, the macros exactly are yeah 250 calories 8.7 protein 3.2 fat and 45.6 carb um, so as far as carbohydrate source that is you know compact I could smash four bagels in a set in a sitting. You know, it's not it's not hard. But what I'll do is I'll just space them out throughout the day. I'll probably have chicken on some. I might have honey on some. Um, I eat them by themselves. I mean, they're fucking good. I love bagels to be honest. So that is a go-to carbohydrate source for me at the moment. As well as that, I'm doing a little bit of if it fits your macros. So 
we went past the bakery and I got two scrolls. They've got apricot scrolls there, they've got apple scrolls, they've got custard scrolls, they've got coffee scrolls, all sorts of awesome scrolls. I fucking love them because they are relatively low in fat, every single one, even the custard one's low in fat. Um, you know, for each of these, this is pretty big, I mean, look at this one, fuck that looks good. So if you look at that one, that's pretty, pretty fucking decent, like it's bigger than a bagel and it's around about the same amount of calories. So. You're looking at about 250 calories each for one of these, probably around about you know 40 grams of carbs, more fat, probably like 10 grams of fat per per serve, and maybe five grams of protein or something like that. So as far as carbs go, this this is what I'm going to be having before I work out. I'll be eating the chicken throughout the day, like I said, and then we'll be having a fucking amazing chest and shoulder workout, which I'll show you guys. And following that. Um, I'll be feeling amazing because I'll have done a 12 hour shift at work, I'll have kept my nutrition on point, um, you know, I'll have smashed a session in the gym and I'll have done all I can on this particular day to bring myself that much closer to my ultimate goal. So anyway, that was a little chat, 2 o'clock afternoon chat guys, um, yeah, feeling good. It's a lovely day here in Alice Springs, which I'll um, show you guys right now. So, there's actually some cloud in the sky today, I can't believe that. That's, uh, that's almost unbelievable guys, it never happens, but as far as the blue, um, it's still just as good as normal. So anyways, so anyways guys, I'm going to head inside now. Go and see what my client's up to. I think I need to make him some lunch or something. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next clip. Peace. <laughs> so, um, this guy is Christopher. And he's another one of my clients. And um, his birthday was yesterday, which is it's meant to be a fantastic day, right? But of course. The guy's not happy with what we got. So he got a stereo. It wasn't big enough for his liking, so we've just had to go back to Harvey Norman and take it back and try and get some extra money to get a bigger one, which we have done. So it's all good. But there was a few minutes there where I thought it wasn't going to be all good. And that's all part of the job, man. It's all part of the job. Whenever you take these fellas through town in the community, People, people ask, why do I have two staff members for each client when we're walking through town? Well, there's a definite reason for that. They can be dangerous. But of course, when they're with me, they don't, they don't act up when I'm working, do they? Of course not, I'm the fucking boss. <laughs> That's 10 years younger than them, but it's all good. It's all good. No fucks given. All right, so we're just heading home. Uh, quick stop, I'm gonna get my gym gear for later on tonight. I don't wanna fuck around, I've got work tomorrow, I've got another 12 hour shift. You know, it's, man, when you finish work at, at, at nine o'clock at night and you go and smash gym session, you get home, you eat something and it's already midnight and then you know you've got another 12 hour day at nine o'clock the next morning, it's not easy, man. It's not easy, but I'm not complaining man, it's all part of it, I don't really give a fuck. So, you make it work, you take your food to work, you, you get it cooked beforehand, like I've said, and you get your gym gear before you uh, leave work, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I've managed to take off for five minutes, going home, picking that up, heading back, and I'll probably do a little bit of editing tonight too before I finish, because we've, um, we've got a pretty cruisy uh, evening tonight, so that's it guys, I'll see you I'll see you, when will I see you? I don't know when I'll see you. I think I'll see you at the gym, Anytime Fitness, Alice Springs, uh, ready to smash some chest and shoulders. Alright guys, some real talk right now. I've just spent the last 15 minutes in my car fucking giving myself every single excuse underneath the sun why I shouldn't go in tonight and why I should wait till tomorrow to smash uh, chest and shoulders. And 
you know, it's because, fuck, these last few hours at work, they really dragged on, man. I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie, I'm fucking exhausted. Um, but I don't want to go home without the feeling of accomplishment that I get when I finish a good gym session. Um, it, you know, the, the fact that I go to the gym, like, every day, the positive I get out of it is the fact that I feel like I've accomplished something every single day. There's, there's not a day goes by that I don't feel like, you know, I've done something that day because of the gym, and it's it's great. Anyways, with that being said, I'm about to get some caffeine in me and uh, get in there and start. <laughs> what a puss, eh? What a pussy. I can't do that. i got to show you guys how it's done. Alright everybody, what is up? It's Jacob here, we're just chilling, chilling at home on the couch. I'm about to give you guys a little bit of a voiceover um, and explain to you why this workout in particular did not go as planned. And you're about to see why. It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. So... <laughs> So my name is not actually Jackson, it's uh, it's Jacob, as you guys know, but that was the only clip I could find. Um, yeah, w without saying too much, guys, my uh, I went into the gym not in the best mindset, as you guys saw. My shoulders weren't feeling the best. I started doing these warm-ups like I normally do. The burn sort of was, was coming on a little bit too soon, which then means to me that my shoulders aren't fully recovered from whether it was a chest workout, shoulder workout, tricep workout, I'm not exactly sure what it was, I can't remember what I did, but my shoulders weren't, weren't feeling the best. So not only was I not feeling in the mood, my shoulders weren't feeling the best, and this guy David, my mate from Alice Springs, came over and talked to me for about 10 minutes, which is not, it's not the optimal way to start your workout, I've got to say. And you know, I can't, I can't blame him. I, I talk to him every time I go to the gym. In fact, I love the support of living in Alice Springs. It's fantastic, you know. But what that means is that once you tell someone you're going to compete, you pretty much got to follow through or else everyone is going to fucking hit you up. So with that being said, guys, not, not an ideal start to the workout, but what do you do? What do you do when this happens? Can you, can you just give up and leave and fucking say, oh yeah, I'll be back tomorrow? No. No, you can't do that. You choose a muscle group that you're going to enjoy training. You choose something that's not fatigued and you fucking kill it. So that's exactly what I did, guys. Um, these were the final sort of warm-up sets with 10 kilos each side. I was just, I was giving it a little bit of, I was still fucking talking to David, actually, to be honest. He was still, he was still chewing my ear off and I just wanted to get into the workout. But it was at this point that I realized um, the chest workout was just not going to happen. My shoulders weren't feeling the best. You know, I was I was getting fatigued way way too early, and um, it was this it was this point where I looked at the camera and contemplated leaving, but I didn't. I chose something I enjoy training at all times, which is biceps. I hadn't trained them for three days, so I took a nice big drink of Utopia, put the weights back, gave the bench to someone else, and started on a bicep workout. So. No footage guys, the tripod was gone, I, I, I wasn't in the mood to be honest, but once I got the pump I felt a whole lot better, as I'm sure you guys can relate to. So, with that being said guys, that was the voiceover. I know I didn't actually teach you anything, but it was just a bit of a chat. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, well... I hope the voiceover that I've just done explained everything, but all is not lost, guys. I still had a fantastic workout. My biceps are pumped to shit. I went absolutely ham on biceps. You know what I, you know what I said to myself? I said, look, if I, can't do, if I can't do chest, if I can't bring myself to do something like chest, I'm going to choose something I know I'm going to be able to just fucking smash and enjoy, even though I'm in a bad mood and I you know, lost it as soon as I got in there, but uh, 
yeah, an hour later, biceps, five exercises, five working sets for each exercise, 25 working sets. Um, my biceps are fucked. They're gonna be sore tomorrow. And uh, that's all you can ask for. So the tripod was not used. Um, yeah, too many people in there and just wasn't feeling it, so. Biceps are measuring 16 inches cold, 17 inches pumped for anyone's uh, information. I did actually make a video on how big my arms were and how big my legs were. The, the, the arms video has actually got over a thousand views. I don't know how the fuck that happened. But if you do want to know how big my arms are and how big my legs are, go back in my video uh, library and check those out. But in the meantime guys, I am going to go home and make an epic post-workout feed because you guys know, you guys know, that's the fucking best time of the day, man. Once you've smashed your workout, you've got that done, you go home. It's time to eat. I can't wait. All right, guys, home now, post-workout. First meal is two bagels with some Reese's creamy peanut butter on top, which looks something like this, which is very delicious. So I'm having two of those. In the microwave right now, we've got the uh, rest of the chicken breast that I took to work today, so probably about half of it. So that is around about 300 grams of chicken breast. And after that, guys, I'm going to have a second post-workout meal of oats, one banana, and probably some of this. So that is my post-workout feed. Chest workout didn't quite go as planned, guys. What can you do, you know? Shit happens. Can confirm, the biceps are pumped. The forearms are pumped, actually, come to think of it, because I did do a lot of um, hammer, hammer grip movements tonight. Um, yeah, you can't neglect those forearms. So, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get into this. I'm fucking starving, and uh, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for joining me on another day of gains, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey!